Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. I am Shamsa Fazal from Peshawar Model Schools. Dear students, hope you all are fine. Today which topic I am going to explain it is taken from your computer course of grade 6. Dear students, today our topic is text alignment and our objective is students will be able to learn about text alignment in MS Excel. Before going to start our topic, let us have a look on previous knowledge. Dear students, Home tab is used to perform common commands. Under the Home tab, we have 7 commands. Clipboard, font, alignment, numbers, styles, cells and editing. Now, let's discuss the third group of Home tab that is alignment. We use this option to change the alignment of cells, text to the right, left and middle. Also, we can subject the text to top, bottom and middle alignment. In this group, we have wrap text option to adjust and make the text visible within a cell. And we can also merge two or more cells using merge option. So, dear students, alignment refers to the position where data is placed within the boundary of a cell. So, there are some options of making the text align. This option is for top align. This is middle align and this is bottom align. Now here we have left align, this is center align and this is right align. So dear students, here I am going to create a worksheet to apply all the options of alignment over here. Let's start to make a worksheet. Now, first of all, I am going to combine these three cells. So, select the cells by using shift key and arrow key and then click on the merge button under the home tab. So, merge and center is the option that will combine or join all these three cells for make the heading. So, my heading is competition. result now from here you can increase its font size so there is need to adjust the column width As I have adjusted over here. So the next step is to join these two cells by the option merge and center to make it one cell. So over here I want to write debate. Debate. So the next category is quiz. So again merge and center. Quiz. So my third category is PowerPoint presentation. As you can see that the whole text is not fitted in a one cell so wrap text is the option to fit the cell by clicking this option we can make the long text fit in a one cell as you can see over here now I'm going to write the name of the students so the next column is for the positions As you can see that I have completed my sheet. So now there is a time to format it. Now first of all drag your mouse and select the whole sheet. Now apply the borders. So under the home tab there is an option of borders. So to the whole sheet all borders. 
So now I want to make these headings in the middle of the cell. For this, click on the middle align. As you can see that the text has been in the middle of a cell now. So dear students, now I want to make these names in the, in the left side of the cell. For this, click on the left align. As you can see that the text has been in the left of a cell. Now let's apply the remaining options. Now the next option is center align. This option aligns content and equal distance from the left and right borders of the cell. As you can see that the text has been in the center of a cell. So the next option is top align. Dear students, this option aligns content to the top border of the cell. After that, we have bottom align. This option aligns content to the bottom border of the cell. As you can see, the word quiz has been in the bottom of a cell. So, dear students, today we learn about text alignment. Alignment refers to the position where data is placed within the boundary of a cell and we use this option to change the alignment of cells text to the right left and middle also we can subject the text to top bottom and middle alignment in this group we have wrap text option and adjust and make the text visible within a cell and we can also merge two or more cells using merge option so, take care of yourself, stay home, stay safe.